Hi and welcome to Intersoft Solutions video tutorial. My name is Nicholas Lee. In this video, I'll show you how to create your first Crosslight app using the Crosslight Project Wizard. But before that, you need to ensure that you have installed Mobile Studio and have prepared your development environment properly. We also have other video tutorials on how to prepare your machine to develop for specific platforms. If you haven't got a copy of Mobile Studio yet, go ahead and grab one at intersoftpt.com slash request trial. Previously, I've mentioned something about the Crosslight Project Wizard. The Project Wizard is one of Crosslight's tooling support that comes with every installation of Mobile Studio. Currently, this is only available on the Windows platform that integrates with the Visual Studio 2012 and upwards. The Project Wizard will help you create Crosslight apps quickly for multiple platforms. You can choose various templates such as the Blank, Navigation, Master Detail, Multi-Page, Business, Localizable Business Template, etc. You can learn more about the Crosslight Project Wizard from this link. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a new Blank app using the Crosslight Project Wizard on VS 2013 and run the project on iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and Windows 8. So let's open up Visual Studio on Windows and create a new project using Crosslight Project Wizard. To do this, choose File, hit New and Project. Then choose Visual C Sharp, Intersoft Solutions, then Mobile. The Crosslight Project Wizard will be shown. We'll leave it as it is and hit OK. What this project will do is that it will show a Hello World greeting message, a text box, and a button. When you enter a text into the text box and press the button, it will update the Hello World greeting text and show a toast notification of the text you have just entered. Now let's try to run this project on iOS. I will copy over this project onto my Mac and run the exact same solution. Choose the iOS project as a startup project and hit run. Let's see what's under the hood. All Crosslight apps goes to the appservice.cs located in the infrastructure folder of the core project. This is the first entry point of the application. As you can see that the root view model is currently set to the simple view model. This set root view model method defines the root view model that will be launched when the application starts. The simple view model contains the definition that will be shared across multiple platforms. As you can see, the hello world greeting message is bound to the greeting text property that detects the appropriate platform. The update button itself is bound to the show toast command to update the greeting text and show a toast notification. This is directly bound using the data binding feature of the MVVM pattern. The MVVM pattern itself stands for model, view, view model. You can find out more about MVVM at this link. We have also covered a separate video on understanding the MVVM pattern. Now let's try to run this project on Android. Now let's try to run this project on Windows Phone. Finally, let's try to run this app on the Windows Store. I'll deploy the Windows Store app onto my local machine. You have successfully created your first Crosslight app and run them on all four platforms. Visit our Developer Center at developer.intersoftpt.com 
for comprehensive documentation on Crosslight. If you need more information, drop us a mail at technical at intersoftpt.com. You can also find discussions related to Crosslight and Mobile Studio in our forums at intersoftpt.com slash community slash Crosslight. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.